in the Lancet and taken up yesterday in the Financial Times, two Australian researchers have revealed the neurological side effects of Antrim, a hypertensive beta blocker manufactured at the Barron's Pharma Laboratories. These side effects range from hearing loss to uh, ataxia. So who the hell is your media watchdog? Yes, it's very goddamn inconvenient. No, what's most inconvenient as far as I'm concerned is the annual shareholders meetings in two weeks. Do you have insurance contingency to cover litigation? Okay. And Murray, Murray, ask your PR gal to find out if the story shows up anywhere else. Call me back. Excuse me. So, you're a lawyer. <laughs> oh, what about you? Oh, me? I have a wholesale company. Household goods. And Veronica is a writer and works part time in an art history bookshop. A writer? I contributed to a collection on the civilization of Sheba based on the excavations that were restarted at the end of the Ethiopian Eritrean War. And I have a book coming 
out in January on the Dark Third tragedy. So you specialize in that part? I'm very interested in that part of the world. Do you have any other children? Well, Henry has a nine-year-old sister, Camille, who's just furious at her father because last night her father got rid of the hamster. Oh. You got rid of the hamster? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this hamster makes the most god-awful racket all night and spends the whole day fast asleep. <laughs> Henry was in a lot of pain last night. He's being kept up by all the noise that hamster was making, and well, to tell you the truth, I've been wanting to get rid of it for a long time. So I said to myself, okay, that's it, and I took it and I put it in the street. <laughs> I, I, I thought they loved drains and, and gutters and all that, but I, I guess not. He just sat there paralyzed on the sidewalk. <laughs> They're not domestic animals. They're not wild animals. I don't know where the natural habitat is. Dump them in the woods, they'll probably be just as unhappy. So <laughs> I don't know where you're supposed to put them. <laughs>
Yes, yes, I'm coming. Yeah. Serge, they've known about the risks for two years now. An internal report, but it didn't formally identify any undesirable side effects. No, they took no precautions, they didn't ensure, not a word in the annual report. If Ben motor skills stability problems, in short, you look completely retarded. <laughs> They're grossing $150 million. Blanket denial. Idiot wanted to demand a right of reply. We certainly do not want a right of reply. On the contrary, if the story does spread, we could say it was disinformation leaked two weeks before the shareholders' meeting. Yeah. He's going to call me back. Okay. <laughs> I haven't had lunch. <laughs> Please, help yourself, help yourself. Thanks. I have no manners. <laughs> so what were we saying? That it would have been nicer to have met under different circumstances. Ah, yes, right. So the kofudi. Is your mother's? No, the recipe is my mother's, but Ronnie made this one. Well, your mother doesn't mix pears and apples. Nope. Poor thing has to have an operation. Really, what for? Her knee. They're going to insert a rotatable prosthesis made of metal and polyethylene. She's wondering what's going to be left of it when she's cremated. Help, don't be horrible! <laughs> she refuses to be buried next to my father. She wants to be cremated and put next to her mother, who's all on her own in Florida. Two urns looking out at the sea, trying to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
committee this evening. Yes. No, there's no mention of this in the executive reports. And no risk has been formally established. There's no evidence. Tomorrow. I'm flying to The Hague tomorrow. You're working in The Hague? I have a case at the International Criminal Court. The main thing is that the children speak to one another. I'll bring Benjamin here this evening at 6.30 and we can let them have their discussion. No, you don't look very convinced. <laughs> if Benjamin is not made aware of his responsibilities, they'll just look at each other like a pair of china dogs. It'll be a catastrophe. What do you mean, what do you mean, made aware of his responsibilities? I'm sure your son is not a savage. Uh, of course Benjamin is not a savage. Yes, he is. Alex, that's absurd. <laughs> Why say something like that? He's a savage. How does he explain his behavior? He doesn't want to discuss it. But he ought to discuss it. Well, he ought to do any number of things. He ought to come here. He ought to discuss. He ought to be sorry for it. Clearly, you have parenting skills that put us to shame. We hope to improve, but in the meantime, please bear with us. <laughs> All right, Mr. Viviani. I'm only thinking of him. I'm only thinking of Benjamin. Now, I got the message. Let's just sit down for another couple of minutes. Uh, a little more coffee? The coffee? Okay. Then I'll have some too. Thanks. Oh, that, that, that's all right, Ronnie. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, I can see you're a great art lover. Well, art, photographs, to some extent, it's my job. I adore bacon. Ah, yes, bacon. <laughs> Majesty, cruelty, chaos, and balance. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Is Benjamin interested in that? Huh. <laughs> Not as much as he should be. <laughs> what about your children? Oh, well, we try. We, we try to fill the gaps in the education system. Yes. We try to make them read, to take them to concerts and exhibits. You know, we're eccentric enough to believe in the soothing powers of culture. <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> so, Clafuti, is it a cake or a tart? What well, serious question? <laughs> I was thinking about it when I was in the kitchen. <laughs> Linzer tort, for example. <coughs> Is that a tart? <laughs> Come on, you, you can't leave that one little slice. Clafouti is a cake. The pastry's not rolled out, it's mixed in with the fruit. You really are a cook. Oh, I love it. The thing about cooking is you have to love it. In my opinion, it's only the classic tart, that's to say on a pastry base, that deserves to be called a tart. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Uh, do, do you have any other children? A son from my first marriage. You know, I, I, I was wondering, uh, not that it's at all important, what started the fight? Henry won't say a single word about it. Henry refused to let Benjamin join his game. Henry has a game? He also called Benjamin a snitch. Did you know Henry has a game? No, that's terrific. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's so terrific. Because I have my own game. <laughs> Me too. And what does that entail? Oh, there are, there are five or six kids that follow you around and are ready to sacrifice themselves like, uh, like in Spartacus. That's a little bit like Spartacus. <laughs> Who knows about Spartacus these days? Well, they use a different model. Spider-Man. Anyway. We shouldn't get involved in children's quarrels. And it's none of our business. No. 
shot. On purpose. See, that's the kind of remark that gets my back up. Obviously on purpose. But that makes all the difference. Oh, the difference between what and what? That's what we're talking about. Our son picked up a stick and hit your son. That's why we're here, isn't it? This is pointless. Yes, yeah, she's right. This kind of argument is pointless. Why do you feel the need to slide in on purpose? What kind of message is that supposed to be sending me? Listen, we're on a slippery slope. My husband is desperate about all sorts of other things. I'll come by this evening with Benjamin, and we can let things sort themselves out naturally. I'm not in the least bit desperate. Well, I am. There's nothing to be desperate about. Yes, there is. No statement. No comment. No, of course you can't take it off the market. If you take it off the market, you become responsible. The minute you take Antrel off the market, you're admitting liability. There's nothing in the annual accounts. If you want to get sued for falsifying the executive reports and get shit canned in two weeks, take it off the market. You know, last year on Parents' Day, wasn't it Benjamin who was in the play? Oh. Charlie's aunt. Charlie's aunt. <laughs> well, think about the victims later, Murray. Let's see what the shares do after the annual meeting. He was extraordinary. Yeah. Well, we are not going to take the medicine off the market just because two or three people are bumping into the furniture. We make no <laughs> statement for the time being. <laughs> yes, I'll call you back.
Uh, panic attack. <laughs> You're a mom, and that's it. Whether you want to be or not, I, I understand why you feel desperate. <laughs> <laughs> what I always say is, you, know, you, you can't control the things that control you. <laughs> you know, with me, it's the it's, it's the, the cervical vertebrae. The vertebrae just it seizes up. And it's, ah! <laughs> <laughs>
it out, press it out all the way. <laughs> You're gonna tear it.
wants you to do? They, they're giving you an trill? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Mom. Wait, don't, don't go anywhere. Wait, wait, wait. Antrill's your crap, isn't it? My mother's taking it. Thousands of people take it. You stop taking this up right now, Mom. You hear me? <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> don't, don't argue. I'll explain later. Tell Dr. Pirolo I'm forbidding you to take it. Why, why glow in the dark? That's completely ridiculous. All right, Mom, Mom I, I, I have to go. I'll, I'll call you back. Yeah, yeah, lots of love, lots of love from us all. <laughs> she rented glow-in-the-dark crutches so she doesn't get knocked over by a truck. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many in her condition going to be strolling down the BQE in the middle of the night. <laughs> her for her blood pressure. Well, she takes it and stays normal, have her call as a witness. Didn't I have a scarf? I, I, I don't appreciate your cynicism. If my mother shows the most minor symptom, I'll be starting a class action. Well, that'll happen anyway. Well, I would hope so. Goodbye, Mr. and Mrs. Novak. Behaving well gets you nowhere. Courtesy is a waste of time. It weakens you and undermines you. Right, come on, let's go, Annette. Enough preaching and sermons for today. Yeah, go on, go. Can I say one thing? Having met you two, it's pretty clear that for, what's his name, Benjamin, there are mitigating circumstances. When you murdered that hamster. <laughs> yes. Murdered the hamster? Yes. <laughs> You've done your best to make us feel guilty, but your virtue went straight out the window once you decided to be a killer. I, I absolutely did not murder the hamster. Worse, you left it, shivering with terror in the hostile environment. That poor hamster is bound to have been eaten by a dog or a rat. Well, it's true. That is true. What do you mean that is true? <laughs> it's true. What do you expect?
<laughs> yeah, yes they are! Oh, no they're not. What am I supposed to do? Sue you, not speak to one another, try to slaughter each other with insurance claims? Stop it, Ronnie! Stop what? The whole thing's out of proportion. I don't give a shit! You force <laughs> yourself to rise about petty mindedness, and then you finish up humiliated and completely on your own. Yes, we're always on our own, everywhere! And who else is the wrong? All right, I'm in a meeting, I'll call you back from the office. <laughs> Of course we'd 
like to believe in the possibility of improvement, of which we could be the architect and which, be, which way would be in no way self-serving. But does such a thing exist? In life, some people drag their feet. It's their strategy. Others refuse to acknowledge the passing of time and drive themselves demented. What difference does it make? People struggle until they're dead. Education, the miseries of the world. You're writing a book about Darfur. Fine, I can see you saying to yourself, OK, I'm going to choose a massacre. What else does history consist of? And I'm going to write about it. You do what you can to save yourself. I'm not writing the book to save myself. You haven't read it. You don't know what it's about. It makes no difference. <laughs> Terrible stink of corpse. Terrible. You certainly laid it on. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I was the one that was spraying like a lunatic. Too much. <laughs> There's an original remark, but that one's thrown you for a loop. <laughs> Think too much. Now, I don't know what that means, and I can't imagine living without your some moral conception of the world. See what I have to work with? <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
still is. Well, Annette, it's ridiculous to drink the state you're in. <laughs> what state? On the contrary. <laughs> Vigilant. It's an interesting idea. Yes! yes. Oh. No! Oh. 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 The shareholder won't give a fuck. Remind him the shareholder is king. What? Annette! Wait, what the? Take one, Alan. Relax. Cigars are not to be smoked in this house. These are Cuban. Goniva, Monte Cristo, number three and number four. You don't smoke in a house with an asthmatic child. Who's that? Our son. Didn't stop you buying a fucking hamster. <laughs> <laughs> True. If someone has asthma, keeping animals isn't recommended. It's completely unrecommended. Even goldfish can be risky. <laughs> ah, I don't have to listen to this fatuous nonsense. I'm sorry. No doubt I'm the only one of us not feeling rather pleasantly serene. I don't think I've ever been so unhappy. 
Yes? Because it could kill you! The medication is poison! <laughs> well, someone's gonna explain it to you. Will you tell her? Tell her what? Everything you know about that crap you're peddling. How are you, ma'am? <laughs> yes, and does it hurt? Well, the operation will fix that. And the other leg, I see. No, no, I I'm not an orthopedic surgeon. She keeps calling me doctor. Doctor? <laughs> oh, this is grotesque. Hang on! What you, what you need to say is you're not having any other problems with your balance. Oh, not at all, not at all. Don't listen to any of that. It's all the same. It'd probably be a good idea to stop, a good idea to stop taking it for the time being. Until, well, until you've gotten a chance to get comfortably through your operation. <coughs> yes, you sound as if you're in very good shape. All right. Well, is that, is that clear? Stop taking it. Why would you always have to argue? Stop taking it! Do as you're told! <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll, I'll call you back, yeah. <laughs> lots of love, lots of love from us all. Stop just telling me! One pain in the balls after another! <laughs> <laughs>
Explain to me in what way you care, Michael. What does the word mean in the first place? Well, you're far more authentic when you show yourself in a horrible light. To tell you the truth, no one in this room cares except for Veronica, whose integrity, it has to be said, must be acknowledged. Oh, don't acknowledge me. Don't acknowledge me. I care. I absolutely care. We only care about ourselves and that we're not social crusaders. I saw your friend, Jane Fonda, on TV the other night. <laughs> and I was inches away from joining the KKK. What do you mean, my friend? What's Jane Fonda got to do with this? You're part of the same breed. You're part of the same category of women. Committed, problem solving. That's not what we like about women. What we like about women is sensuality, lying, this hormones. Women who make a song and dance about their intuition, women who are custodians of the world, depress us. Even him, poor Michael, your husband, he's depressed. D don't, don't speak for me. Who gives a fuck what you like? Where does this lecture come from? A man like you, who could begin to give a fuck about your opinion? She's yelling, she's yelling like a stuck pig. Oh, doesn't she yell? When she said that bastard had done well to clone our son! Yes, he did do well! And at least he's not a snivering little faggot! <laughs> well, yours is a snitch! The vanity founder is just like you have here, Ellen. What are you doing? Staying in this dump! Chances are the creature is probably stuffing his face as we speak. 